hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Roslyn on this channel I feature lifestyle inspiration and self-care in today's video I'm going to show you how I reset on my fall weekends let's get started On my reset weekends, I like to sleep in just a little bit. I wake up fairly early through the week, so I like to try to sleep in until about seven o'clock. And prior to getting out of the bed, the first thing that I do is definitely give thanks. Glad that I am on the side of the living. After that, I get up and I go in the bathroom. Of course, I brush my teeth and I wash my face. And then I go and make my bed up. That is my first accomplishment for today. For me, it's definitely the small things that I can do. Um, I don't like walking in my room actually looking at my bed not made up. So I go ahead and make it up. And that's one thing that I've accomplished for today. Next, I'll sit down and I'll read and meditate on the word. It actually centers me and I really think about uh, what I'm reading. I also pray for understanding and revelation out of what I'm reading. This usually will last for about 30 minutes and then I'll go downstairs. The first thing that I will grab when I get to the kitchen is a glass of water. Uh, water just hydrates me. I actually keep a cup by my bed and sometimes throughout the night I may get up and take a sip of water, but definitely one of the first things that I allow to enter my body in the morning. Then I'll sit down for a bit and watch a little bit of TV. I don't get a chance to watch TV uh, that much during the week. So on the weekends, when I do have a little extra time, I do try to take in about 30 minutes of TV. It's very quiet for me because everyone, um, for the most part of my house, except for my husband, is asleep on Saturday morning. So I get time to myself. During this time, I usually like to watch One Magnificent Morning. They feature a lot of nature-inspired shows and also travel. And it's just really interesting to see other parts of the world and other cultures. After I've watched a little bit of TV and I've drunk my water, the next thing that I'll do is fix me some breakfast. I usually go fairly light on the breakfast because I usually have a pretty uh, hearty dinner on Saturday. Uh, so for breakfast, I'm going to have just some avocado toast. I'm also going to have some yogurt and I put the pumpkin spice uh, spread in there. I'm gonna uh, put a link above if you wanna know how to make that and I'm going to add some orange slices and then now I get a chance to actually get my coffee because I've already drunk my water so I'm just going to get some coffee and I'm going to sit down and try to enjoy my meal Next, I'll go to my office and I'll work on anything that I haven't completed for the week. Usually that's kind of going through emails um, and just reading through information. Sometimes I'll take a little bit of time and I will do some leisure reading on the computer, reading some blogs and some other information. This is usually for about an hour or an hour and a half. So we're still in the morning of my Saturday. The next part of my day is reflection time. I get to think about what I've accomplished this week uh, and what I would like to accomplish the upcoming week. I also get a chance to dream and think about things that I really want to do, places I want to go, things that I want to see and experience, and things that I'd like to accomplish. Next, I'm going to whip up a quick lunch for everyone. I'm going to just heat up the kale and cauliflower chili with navy beans in it. It can be paired with the salad. I am actually going to create a really nice smoothie using this frozen fruit and some coconut water and a little spinach. This is the perfect lunchtime meal for those cool winter days. It's so warm and it tastes really good. It does have a little bit of a kick. So for my kids, usually in theirs, I'll put a little tomato paste on top and stir it up and that way it kind of takes away a little bit of the spiciness. I also whipped up this harvest blend or fall blend of noodles and I will put some pesto in it and a little bit of olive oil and it can also be paired with a salad. 
This is undoubtedly my favorite time of the mornings on Saturdays. I think it is so important for everyone to have some time where they are not really thinking or doing much of anything, but just relaxing their mind. And during this time, I usually take about an hour. I will take a nice, hot, long soak bath. Being that it is fall, I am making sure that I use all of my fall-inspired scents, all of my fall-inspired soaps, and bath and beauty products. And I am taking this time just to relax and enjoy the moment. Since this is part of my relaxation time, I do want to make sure that my thoughts are good and my thoughts are wholesome. So I like to reflect on God's goodness and his grace in my life. I also think about all of my blessings and all of the lessons that I've learned. I really just like to be still in this moment. After a nice, long, relaxing bath, I am ready to do my fall face routine, and it usually comprises of a lot of fall favorite inspired scents. Each year I'll make my own or pick up some from the store, just depending on what is out on the shelves at the time. Well, I hope you'll be taking some time this fall to relax and reset on your weekends. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.